Hi guys, uh, this is Tobias DL3MHT. It is the Hamvention 2024 weekend in the US and as I'm stuck in good old Germany, I thought why not do another fun kit build. I got myself a Bluetooth audio amplifier kit from Amazon using the trusted sort by cheapest price on top method. What could possibly go wrong? So let's do the unboxing now and if you're interested, I could live stream my attempt to assemble this thing later. Okay, so let's see what we got in the box. And of course, as this is gonna be a small amplifier, we have a speaker. Um, no print on the back, how much watt, how much ohms. So could be anything. Then we have uh, the case. Let me try to open this. So that's the clear plastic case still with a protective coating. So when you look at the side, you see that it's in fact transparent, but we have some protective film to avoid scratches on both sides. So I guess I leave this like this for the moment. Then um, all the mounting screws for the case. And yeah, that was already the final compartment uh, or bag. Let's try to get this out. Oh, we have documentation, that's not bad. And some other things. So, okay, that's a 3.5 millimeter audio check so that you can directly hook up some analog audio source, I guess. Um, cheap Chinesium USB cable. Uh, for the 5 volt power supply for the amplifier, I guess. Then here we have the Bluetooth module. I don't think I'll get this out of the bag right now, but when you see, um, let me angle it right. Yeah, here you see the Bluetooth antenna and the Bluetooth chip uh, little oscillator, status LED, and here we have all the parts. Uh, let's quickly have a look at the, oops, and of course the PCB. That would have been a bummer if the PCB was missing. Yeah, nice uh, silk screen and uh, coated, and even the edges are, were sanded off, so nothing to complain about. And we got some documentation as well, um, even in German, surprise, surprise. So here's the um, schematic on top and here's the picture, uh, how to populate the parts at the bottom. And basically the schematic uh, seems to consist of three different parts. Um, here on top we have the uh, let me get something to point. The audio amplifier section. So here is probably the input, um, the analog input with a volume control knob, mono input um, that goes here to in plus of this little SMD chip, which is, let me get it here. So that's the tricky part of the operation, putting this little uh, eight leg bug onto the PCB here. So it sits here right in the middle. And it looks like this amplifier might be even differential. It has an in plus and an in minus. I'll have to check the schematic. Oddly enough, they have not directly grounded the in minus. They have uh, coupled it via a uh, capacitor to ground, which is a bit Odd, shouldn't that be directly go to ground? Oh well, we'll find out um, how much RF noise this <laughs> contraption will pick up. 
Okay, output is straightforward. Uh, output just goes directly to to a check uh, or to a terminal. So here we have the screw terminal, and they even gave us here a cable for the to connect the speaker. So let's throw that in the box. Um, yeah, the second part of the schematic is obviously the Bluetooth connection, um, where they've only connected the left output, um, again mono, to uh, in plus. So it would be interesting to see if um, with some stereo source you get the right channel or if they've configured this thing correctly to be in mono mode. Um, and uh, as you can see here are three buttons and it's more or less the same thing that I have shown you with my DIY stream deck. They're probably using an ADC input on the microcontroller that is here on this Bluetooth module to measure uh, which button was pressed. Um, so pull it directly to ground, it's button one. Pull it with a 10K to ground, it's, uh, well, 10K resistor to ground, it's button two. And with a 33K to ground, it's button three. And I guess this is used for pairing the Bluetooth device and maybe skipping audio tracks forwards or backwards, I don't know. And then we have a third uh, section here in the schematic, um, not really needed for the audio amplifier, I think. So this is some kind of light show, maybe VU audio meter. So here you get the audio output goes down here via one microfarad, uh, is that? Yeah, I think so coupled by a potentiometer and it goes into this chip and on the output of this chip you have five LEDs connected so I don't know maybe that is a bar graph display or yeah just to make it a bit more interesting. Okay um, what else? Okay we have a parts list also in German uh, which should make it easy to build and uh, let's flip that open Okay, there's some description in German how to assemble the, uh, the plastic case. And uh, there's even a QR code uh, provided with probably some more documentation. So whoever imported that from China did a good job and uh, spent some time in providing a German uh, manual, so it should be easy to assemble. Okay, so what else did we go get into the, in the box? Well, of course, we need to get all the parts that uh, have to be populated on the PCB. So this is, of course, resistors, all the resistors that we need. Then we have um, electrolytic capacitors for stabilizing the voltage and God knows what. Coupling audio in and out. And we have a few ceramic capacitors. Yeah, I guess it's the usual 100 nanofarad to ground for the chip. Now it says 104, maybe I'm wrong. Um, so that is maybe Coupling capacitors uh, for the audio then. 103 would be 100 nanofarads. So this is a bit bigger. We'll, we'll find out when I assemble this thing. Okay, then we have obviously the LEDs uh, for this VU meter. Um, so three blue ones, a green one and a red one. Then this is the power switch with a button, uh, with a plastic cap already put that on. Then another screw terminal um, for connecting the uh, USB uh, 5 volt power supply. And we have the three buttons. And plastic caps for the buttons. Oops, sorry. Um, for the Bluetooth pairing shenanigans. Here's the 3.5 millimeter check um, for the analog input. 
the adjustment potentiometer for the light show. Uh, I think this one is the volume control knob. This looks very flimsy, but probably <laughs> very cheap as well. Um, so here you can adjust the output volume of the amplifier, I guess. And finally, we have the chip that uh, is connected to the LEDs. So it's called KA2284, not sure what it is, maybe some VU meter um, audio, I don't know, <laughs> light show chip. I'll, I'll look it up and uh, put it in the description. Okay, so um, that should be a fun build. Um, don't see any major problems. Uh, the only, well, the difficult bit or the more difficult bit will be to put on this SMD bike. But um, since I've already built the SMD star, which was uh, uh, had more pins, I'm, I'm sure I managed to get this SMD amplifier on. Okay, um, so that was the unboxing of this um, little audio Bluetooth speaker amplifier kit. Um, I don't know if I should uh, live stream the build or if I should just uh, provide a time lapse. Uh, let's see, maybe you can comment below if you want me to build this live and embarrass myself on the internet. So thanks for watching for now and until next time. Bye.